Greetings, and welcome to the latest edition of the HD Rants. I, of course, am your host and ranter, Sean McLean. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so today, this is, of course, edition number nine. 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 Yeah, nine. Wow, we're almost into double digits. God, do I babble or what? Um, this time around, I wanted to talk about something uh, that isn't really format war related. Oh my god, he's finally stopped talking about the format war. Thank god, it's been over for how many weeks now and he's still going on about it. Yeah. Well, as I said before, it's basically because there was a lot of things I wanted to say about it at the time, but I just didn't get around to it for any number of reasons. I think it was mainly because I was working on other projects, like off of YouTube, that I just I didn't have time to do as many YouTube videos at the time. So I'm just kind of getting it all down for the record now. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk about, of course, now, of course, of course, of course, of course. A horse is a horse is a horse, of course. But no horse is as much of a horse as Mr. Ed. I have no idea how that song goes. It was the thing about the talking horse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and Ed is over there looking at me as if I am a crazy person. Um, so I'm going to talk about Blu-ray. Yes, Blu-ray, of course, has one and is the new standard and uh, will remain so for the foreseeable future. Now, some of the particularly news and rumor savvy out there will be saying, oh, not necessarily. Blu-ray's gonna fail as well. It's on the way out already. There's other stuff in development. Of course there's other stuff in development. There's always other stuff in development. Do you see any of that other stuff on the market? Do you see any of that other stuff anywhere near being on the market yet? No. So for now, Blu-ray is it. Accept it and move on. So one of the things that uh, has been causing yet more consumer confusion with Blu-ray specifically is this whole profile thing. You hear things like profile 1.0, profile 1.1, profile 2.0. WTF? What, what is this profile stuff? Consumers are used to buying a DVD player. You buy a DVD player, it plays DVDs. So now you're telling me I just plunked down 500 bucks on a Blu-ray player and it might not be able to play the current new generation of Blu-ray discs? What? Excuse me? So I wanted to clarify a little bit. What the hell is up with all this profile bullshit and... Why does it matter and why should we care? I say that a lot, don't I? Well, okay, first off, the profile thing you can thank the format war for. Okay, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Now, the fact of the matter is, both formats were pretty well rushed onto the market before either one was really ready because both sides wanted to get a jump on the other and be the next format. They figured, oh, whatever, you know, we'll just, we'll, we'll establish which one is going to be the new format in the format war, and then we'll figure out, the, we'll work the kinks out of it from there. So, um, <laughs> so the result of that was, um, HD DVD came out, and then about a month later, Blu-ray came out, because they knew they had to. There was no more waiting around. Blu-ray had to come out just to, so it would have a fighting chance. So Blu-ray came out, the format war began, blah, 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 blah. Fast forward a little while. Okay, so when Blu-ray first came out, it used a um, firmware version called Profile 1.0. Put in very simple layman's terms, the firmware is basically what determines what capabilities your player has. Okay, so the firmware is software updatable normally except <laughs> these early players aren't updatable the only player that's updatable is the ps3 so okay first generation of blu-ray players comes out it's profile 1.1 1. 1, or sorry pro, pro, bleh, profile 1.0 profile 1.0 put simply is your basic blu-ray player functionality you can play movies with sound and you know a simple menu and that's pretty much it. It's basically a, a, a high-definition DVD player. It just plays Blu-ray discs instead of DVDs. Then, a few months later, they came out with Profile 1.1. 1. 1. 
Ooh, what's this profile 1.1? What's the difference? Do I need to upgrade? Well, yeah, you kind of do, because what Profile 1.1 adds is some additional interactive features. Now, Profile 1.0 has interactive features as well. Profile 1.1 adds things like picture-in-picture, picture, which can be used for any variety of things. So you can like, have it's picture-in-picture picture coming off your Blu-ray player. It's not, nothing to do with your TV. Whether your TV has picture-in-picture picture or not, it doesn't matter. The Blu-ray player does it for you which is pretty darn cool. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of things you can do with picture-in-picture. Picture. You can have a video commentary going, or you can have like some kind of behind-the-scenes thing running while you're watching the movie. You know, there's any number of possibilities for it. So anyway, 1.1 basically adds picture-in-picture. Picture. It's not a huge update. Now, or sorry, Profile 1.1. Profile 2, or 2.0, is the last one. You can relax. There's not going to be any more after that, and if there are, you'll be able to get them upgraded, and I'll tell you why in a second. Profile 2 gives you internet capability. So your Blu-ray player can hook up to the internet. Now why would you want that? Well, a couple of reasons. First off, if they put out any more of these stinking profiles, you can just download the update to your firmware and boom, you're up to date. You don't have to buy a new player anymore. You don't have to buy anything. You just have your Profile 2 player and it can download any updates that come along down the road. The other thing that Profile 2 gives you access to is what they call BD Live. BD Live is basically an internet community that's being set up where you, as you're watching your movie, can interact with other people watching the same movie anywhere in the world in real time while you're watching. So it sort of creates the effect of watching it with a virtual audience. Now, honestly, I don't know how useful that is, but if you really want to geek it up, I suppose, <laughs> why not, right? It might be kind of fun to sort of sit and uh, MST3K a movie with a bunch of people on the internet while you're watching it at the same time. I, you know, that could be fun. Get a few beers going and have some fun with it. And it is looking at me. MST3K is Mystery Science Theater 3000, dear. No, I know, but then you got to be such a fucking loner to, like... <laughs> want to watch it with other complete strangers you have nothing in common with but watching the show with them at the same time. Give me a break. <laughs> and there's one viewpoint for you. <laughs> I have to agree though, I do think it's kind of a useless feature and I don't really understand the attraction of it, but anyway, apparently we're not getting the whole story, we're not getting the full you know, ramifications of what this whole BD Live thing will be. So, basically at this point, just wait and see. Wait and see what it is. Maybe they'll offer some other cool stuff that, uh, that'll appeal to you. But, I mean, for the more casual, high-def movie watcher, you may be wondering, well, what's the big deal? Why would I even want those features? I don't want picture-in-picture. -picture. I don't want internet compatibility. Well, here's the problem, is a lot of the later Blu-ray discs, like Profile 2 is basically the basic standard. You remember how I talk about the lowest common denominator scenario in a lot of my other rants? Well, Profile 2 is becoming the lowest common denominator and is going to be the de facto standard for all Blu-ray titles from that point forward. Once it becomes standard on all players, it's all, all titles will require that in order to play. Now here's the thing. At this point in time, there are no Profile 2 players on the market. <laughs> you can bet your bottom dollar they are getting them ready and they are going to be out very soon. As to when exactly, at this point, is anybody's guess. Um, so at this point, honestly, if you want the best deal, get yourself a PS3. Just get like the low, low, low end model for like two, three hundred bucks. Well, I guess it's about three hundred bucks. So get the three hundred dollar model. It's the cheapest Blu-ray player going, and it has internet compatibility built in, which means when Profile 2 comes out, you can just download it and be done with it. Boom! You're good to go. So, at this point in time, the PS3 is the only player that's quote-unquote future-proof, whereas the others, you basically have to wait for them to uh, release players that have Profile 2 built in. But as I say, once you get Profile 2 going, then you can up, up, uh, download any future updates as it is. So the big question is, you know, will older players be able to play newer movies? Now, 
most of the people that I've talked to are saying no. But I don't know if that's entirely true. Um, I don't know that the interactive features are going to be such that they would interfere with n normal playback. I mean, I would think you would still be able to at least watch the movie, but maybe just not use the interactive features, which would be fine for most people. But, I don't know, it remains to be seen. But for now, I don't think you need to worry about it, because for now, all movies are basically Profile 1 or 1.1 anyway, which most players are. So, you don't really need to worry about it. So in short, Profile 1, Basic Player, Profile 2, Picture in Picture, Profile, or sorry, Profile 1, Basic Player, Profile 1.1, Picture in Picture, Profile 2, Internet. That's pretty much it in a nutshell, in case you're wondering what the difference is. And, um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I wanted to say, the difference between the profile formats. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it uh, cleared things up for you a bit. All right, so uh, that's it for me for now. So thanks for watching, and until next time, Sayonara.